collecting for the angel. Hello, sir. Could I see you one minute? Could I see you one minute? Hello, ladies. Could I see you a minute? Could I see you, young fellas? Any amount. Last year, I collected $500 for the angel. So do you want to give a little donation? Well, let me think about it. I feel like every time I see you, you're collecting for something else. Yeah. I'm a collector. <laughs> Very good, Larry. So we have 400 and thirty dollars and seventy dollars in checks, so that's five hundred dollars. Five twenty. That's wonderful. And another one, yes, five hundred and twenty dollars. At one point, we had a major flood in the basement underneath Larry's apartment, and the story that unfolded was that Larry was giving out the keys to his apartment and to the building to a number of homeless men, and that he was offering them the chance to have showers in our building during the summer. When I'm lonely, I deal with the wrong people. They go up or try to kick me out. They took me to court and we agreed I won't keep homeless people anymore in my apartment. Alice, if I disappear on Saturday, you'll be over your troubles with me. Sally will be over her troubles with me. So if I disappear, just don't feel bad. Hi, Sally. This is Alice, and I just got a very disturbing message from Larry. It makes me feel like it's time we had a meeting with the neighbors to talk about doing something for him in an organized way. Could you give me a call as soon as... This is Gwen. Um, we can host the meeting about Larry's trust fund. Murray, as some of you know, is Larry's uncle. He's 81 years old, and he's basically been the only person in Larry's family that has cared for him uh, for the last 30 years. He brings him meals three times a week. Uh, he provides money for extra things in Larry's life. Larry's also 80 and he's frail. He's 81. He's 81. 81. But the bottom line is we want to find some way to help Larry. That's exactly, that's well said. 